everyone welcome to another edition of token topics thank you all for joining i want to say i'm sorry it's been a while since i made a video the reason why is i had the bug and i had it bad i couldn't even talk for four days and on top of that i had a very very rare condition of covid rash on top of it so i'm on all kinds of steroids medications from the top of my head down to the bottom of my toes but i'm telling you what i still keep trucking gotta keep moving forward can't stop now so there's a lot of things that have been happening in the crypto world too that i wish that i could be making some um, material on so much it's 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 outstanding so i'm going to be really focusing these next few days gathering some material so i can put some good uh, videos for you all together so stay tuned definitely if you're new to token topics please do hit the like and subscribe i go over a lot of great topics and also tutorials and walkthroughs this special video is on descent on how to merge it with metamask through a qr code very cool also i'm going to show you how to create a metamask account there's all kinds of new people that are jumping into crypto every single day and some people are not tech savvy so hopefully I break this down I walk you through on how to make the MetaMask and how to connect your decent wallet the biometric wallet or the free mobile app and keep in mind to keep your crypto off the exchanges that's the best thing to do I'm gonna put affiliate links to decent wallets in the description below and you can always check it out through decent first to know it's legit so with that out of the way let's go ahead and roll the footage and at first I'm gonna show you how to create the MetaMask account and then connect that wallet let's go ahead and dive in all right I'm gonna show you how simple and easy it is to connect your decent mobile app or your biometric wallet to MetaMask now you might not have MetaMask so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to download MetaMask for this example I'm gonna be downloading it for the PC for the Chrome version so what we're going to want to do is go to metamask.io now once you're at metamask.io i'm going to show you the different options you go up here to download you have chrome ios android if you're wanting to do it for your mobile device but if you go down here you can see for supported browsers on the pc you got chrome firefox brave edge for this example i'm going to be using chrome so i click on chrome and i'm going to simply add to chrome just click on that we're going to read through that real quickly add extension and now it's going to begin to download process and now it's downloading and it continues to download and if you do see a little error that pops up it's no big deal all you got to do is just uh, tap on restart so for example metamask had trouble starting this error could be intermittent so try restarting all you got to do is just tap on this restart metamask and as you can see it is installed now if you go up here to this little puzzle piece on your toolbar you can see metamask and you can see pin so you can pin it to the toolbar so you can see it up here okay and once that's done it's it's installed if you click on that you can go ahead and click on metamask and as you can see it's downloading right now now it says welcome to metamask connecting you to ethereum and decentralized web we're happy to see you so we're gonna go ahead and get started so you're gonna click on get started and new to MetaMask uh, yes we're gonna start from ground up because I want to show my listeners and viewers how easy it is to create a wallet so we're gonna to go to create a wallet and you just read through all this and of course you just have to agree so click on agree and uh, I'm gonna make this as a, as a mock um, a password a mock account for this video so I'm just gonna make something up and I have read and agreed to terms of use boom go ahead and hit create And there you have it now like most wallets of course you're gonna get a secret recovery phrase in this case with MetaMask you get a 12 word phrase make sure that you write this down and keep it away from other people and keep it in a safe spot and you do not lose it so now I'm gonna simply click on next 
and click here to reveal the secret words. Remember to make sure you write these down and keep it safe. Once you have that written down, you're going to go to next. And then, of course, you have to confirm it. So once you have them written in order, go ahead and click confirm. And congratulations. You now have a MetaMask account. Now we're going to go ahead and click on all done. And there you have it. We have a MetaMask account. As you can see, there's zero Ethereum. So there's nothing in it. Of course, it's a brand new account. Next part, I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to connect your Decent wallet to MetaMask. It's very simple using the QR code. So you're going to go up to the right top to your MetaMask emblem. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to type in your password. And then hit enter to unlock or just click on unlock. And there you can see the account is active. Now I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to connect your decent mobile device to your MetaMask using a QR code. It's very simple to connect your wallet. As you can see, I have an Ethereum and Quant account right there. So I'm going to show you how simple it's done. I'm going to put this right here for the demonstration. And now we're going to go up to the top right up here where your MetaMask account is right there, that icon. Click on that and wait for it to drop down. And if you see this uh, thumbnail, this circle icon with the colors, you're going to click on that. And then we're going to scroll down all the way down to connect hardware wallet because that's what we're going to be doing is connecting the hardware wallet on the mobile device. So go ahead and click on that and let it process. And then we're doing the QR base code. So click on QR base code and then scroll down and go ahead and click on continue. And now it's going to bring up a window, even though it's blurry, it's still going to be able to read it. So you're going to want to take your mobile device. If it does that, go ahead and just uh, hit continue again. So we're waiting for that window. Go ahead and get your mobile device and you're going to want to go down to the discovery tab right here in the middle. You can see that discovery tab, tap on that. And then you're going to tap on MetaMask integration. And next you're going to tap on go. And it's going to be the first box that says connect MetaMask account. The first one, not the second one. Go ahead and tap on that one. And since I only have the one Ethereum account on here, I'm just going to tap on that bubble and go ahead and tap on connect. That's simple. So this is a dud account. It's okay. So you're going to flip your device around and get it right into, into that window for that QR code. You got to get it just right to make sure it reads it. I have to move it back and forth. As you can see, it took it. And even though I only have one account, it's showing five. So you just click on the first one. And as you can see, that's the Ethereum account right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back there. And then we're going to go to unlock. So make sure that's clicked and then go to unlock. And as you can see, it's showing the Ethereum, the $47. And seven cents that's in the, the Ethereum account on the Decent wallet, and it's also shown a little over one quant. So, any other ERC20 tokens that you have on your Decent wallet account will automatically show on here, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see, just to show again that that is what's on the mobile app, indeed. So, it's showing on MetaMask, isn't that cool? So, now you can do other things too. You can do, you can send, if you want to send it from here, you can send it to a different address, a different account. Or if you want to do a swap, like for, let me give you an example. Let's say if I wanted to select uh, quant, if I select quant right there, 
And if I wanted to swap it for, let's say, Matic or Polygon. And if I just wanted to do like 0.2, Just to uh, give viewers a uh, show. So it'd be $21 so you can swap and get some Matic. And then you can go to review swap so you can see how much you would actually be receiving. So I'd be receiving 23.26 Matic. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just using this as a demonstration. So you don't only have to do this from your Decent wallet, you can do it through MetaMask on your PC connected through your Decent wallet. Pretty impressive. If you have any questions, go ahead and um, put them down in a comment section. I hope you did enjoy this demonstration. I hope. Keep in mind, this is very important information. If you want to disconnect your Decent wallet from the MetaMask, it's imperative that you do this. So you're going to go to these three lines up here, where you can see that. You're going to tap on that, and you're going to want to go to Remove Account. It's going to say this account will be removed from your wallet. So as long as you have your recovery phrase for your Decent wallet, you're fine. All this is doing is just removing it from uh, MetaMask. That's it. So you just go ahead and click on remove and that's it. But there's one more step to make sure it's fully disconnected. And I want to show you that as well. So go up to this, uh, go up to this thumbnail with the colors. And you're going to, going to go to connect hardware wallet. You're going to want to make sure it's completely disconnected. So you're going to go to QR based again and go back to connect. And as you can see, it can still sh see uh, the Ethereum wallet that was tied to it, as you can see right there. So if you want to completely remove it, you have to go to forget this device. So you make sure it forgets the device. That way it is completely disconnected from your Decent wallet completely. Just a safety measure, all right? I hope that this answered any questions. I hope that this tutorial helped you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comment section. I wanna say thank you everyone for watching another edition of Token Topics. You all stay safe out there.